Hi, Dr. Steve Badalino here. I want to talk today about what's been called by various names. One of them is text neck. Basically, it's a phenomenon where because as a culture we're looking so much at our, our smartphones, our tablets, and so forth, we're looking down like this all the time. And it's basically putting our neck in this posture so much and for so many people across the board that it's actually having an epidemic effect on our posture not just in the neck but all throughout the spine um, I've never seen anything quite like this in in the past you know there's like heavy backpack use that uh, has been tied to postural changes but not like this not on the scale that this is so I want to look at some x-rays with you and show you kind of the effects that it has on the neck and the body um, and we can kind of extrapolate the effect that it has on the body through the nervous system which gets affected as well which we'll touch on in a minute so let's see here so these are before and after x-rays so the chin the jaw is here and the patient's looking this way um, so you see the curve in the first x-ray on the left is uh, actually reversed and then after you know uh, some care probably um, after a couple months of care we're starting to see a positive curve and it's starting to go in the right direction uh, this kind of shows the same thing where there's a real straight curve on the left and then a you know a more pronounced pronounced healthy curve on the right side this is the same thing the before x-ray it actually looks like the person is doing this that's the posture that they're in. That's actually what their, you know, normal is in the beginning in the pre-X-ray. In the post-X-ray or the after X-ray, we see that it's starting to straighten up more. It's still kind of a straight curve. We'd want to see more of a, a curvature like this in the neck, but uh, that's a good start. And then uh, this is actually an MRI, so... This is the same orientation, so the patient's look in this direction. This is the spinal cord inside. You can see where the curvature is reversed that is putting pressure on the spinal cord right here. So this is actually something that we want to relieve so that the body can function its best and be the healthiest it can be, and also so that you know the patient is not having a ton of arthritis in their neck as they age. And there's so many different you know uh, symptoms that can arise when you put pressure on the nerves that are controlling things. So uh, this again is a reverse curvature here. This is uh, basically the same type of thing as we just saw where this curve is reversed in that middle part. This infographic shows the effect on the rest of the spine with regard to how much the head weighs. So when the head's in different positions, when it's uh, like really up far forward, it weighs a lot more. It puts a lot of stress on the spine on down to compensate for that. This kind of shows um, with a picture kind of the affected area and why it's happening. He's looking at his phone all the time. Um, again, before and after here. So when we look at where those nerves are coming from in the neck, so we put some pressure on this area in the mid-neck. That's where nerves are going down to the arms, but also to the heart and lungs. And uh, we got nerve flow up at the very top that goes all over the place to help regulate stuff. So with chiropractic care, we can help reverse the effects of this new phenomenon, text neck, or uh, I've heard it called uh, technology hunchback, or all these different names, but essentially it's, that's what it is. Uh, we can help through chiropractic care to reverse this problem and greatly help the overall health of our patients because we're removing stress from the nervous system and you know also heading off a lot of arthritic changes uh, before they happen so this is Dr. Stephen Badalino with Badalino Family Chiropractic and this has been your health minute